since it is the month of October, I decided to get into the spirit of things just a little bit uh, by talking about something that is genuinely frightening, and that is making important life decisions. Now, around this time, a lot of seniors in high school are going to be, uh, they're going to be starting like sending out letters for college and looking for that sort of thing, and I figured, hey, I went through that. Why not provide advice for other people? There's a couple options you got out there. Before you know it, you will be forced to walk across that stage while Pomp and Circumstance plays a song whose title I still haven't figured out. What is the circumstance? What is Pomp? Pompous isn't generally associated with a positive thing, but yet we now throw it in our graduation saying, what cir circumstance can be anything? This is a circumstance. You are currently in a circumstance. You watching me be in my circumstance is in yet another circumstance. Regardless, what are you gonna do? You knew what I did which is wait until halfway through spring, until a few weeks before graduation, and hastily apply to the local community college, like I did. Or you can be smart and plan to apply to the local community college beforehand. Because uh, community colleges are a great deal from a financial standpoint, and they provide quality education. And uh, also, I like the, uh, the vibe. Like, the vibe at SCF is really good. It's really laid back, and it's really accepting. Like, no one cares, <laughs> like, who you are. As in, like, in the good sort of way. There's no oppressed, like, serious campus culture that sort of, like, tries to peg you in anywhere, because that's so because, like, there's all types of people there, from people fresh out of high school to people, like, coming back to college to, like, get some extra training or whatever. That's the one option. That's the one I did. I think that is a really good option for most people, since uh, if you were planning on continuing out for college or just stopping uh, your two-year degree. It's just as good as going to the four-year school. It's gonna be a little easier, it's gonna be, but it'll still be just as good. Another option is going straight into the four-year school, a public or private, although with private, you, you better be packing that cash, and I mean a lot. Like, for example, two years at SCF, $10,000. I'd say that might be the cost of one semester at like a really high-end school, like. Uh, art, engineering, legal stuff that takes years and years and years to master. All I'm saying is that if you're not in the one percent, there to work a lot, and I mean a lot, or you can sell your soul to the devil. One of those two. Jumping straight into four into a four year degree may not be for everyone, oh, and it might not even be a viable option for people trying to you know do that redirect in their life. A, a common thing people like to do is take a year off in between and work so they can you know build up a little cash reserve so they can pay for college. It's quite, again, college is expensive. It, like we all know college is expensive. Like that's beaten in to most people day one. And so like this why there's the push to like get you those college credit classes in high school to you know save a little money. But it's expensive but not in the way you think it is. Like, of course there's your tuition and books and those are the two main ones, but there's also like all these other little costs that sort of start piling up, like room and board is huge if you choose to live on campus, and if you don't, like I do, you have to commute in every day, that can add up quite a bit, like especially for someone who lives way out in the middle of nowhere, edge of nowhere, there's a 40 minute commute there, 40 minute commute back, living the American dream, American dream, sorry I lost my train of thought, American dream, driving, college, hidden costs. Okay, we're back. Food, believe it or not, you eat more than you think you do, especially when you like start breaking down the costs when you're living more independent. Isn't that like, it's like getting a good meal? I mean, a good meal, not fast food or anything like that, because that is a great way to ruin your house. And you don't want to do your first couple years of independent living away from home if you choose to go down that route, or in general, first years of being an adult, just drowning in a sea of MSGs and cholesterol. It'll take years off your life if you're not careful, so that's another cost. So, so you know, food, transportation, social events, if you participate in clubs, especially like more um, clubs or fraternities or sorties, which here's my opinion on frats and sorties. I don't like them. I think they're real dumb. If you're in one, whatever. But I would not recommend a frat or a sorry to anyone if they ask me. From my understanding, a frat, especially the worst one, they're just like a few steps away from a cult. I'm just gonna steer clear of that, and I'm gonna try to steer everyone I know clear of that stuff too. Uh, the other option is, of course, a uh, vocational school. Yeah, vocational school, that's, that's the right name for it. That is a great option, and if you think that is a valid option you, and what you want to do, go for it. Don't, and don't try to like, if you like, you know, like, no, this is, this is what I want to do. This is for me. Don't try to let anyone like push you 
to a four-year degree if you're like, I'm not ready for a four-year degree. I can't, life is, my life circumstances saying I can't get a four-year degree or a two-year degree. And I would say rather do that if you can do that and do that and remain debt-free versus being pressured and going to a two or four year and then having a load of debt that'll take years to pay off. And let me just say that again for the people in the back. Vocational school is a good option for people if they choose to do it and if that's what they really want to do. Stop forcing people away from vocational schools towards two and four year degrees and they may not be able to afford. Can you hear me now? Good. Sorry, that makes me laugh. Just for some reason, stateside, I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world because the rest of the world is a little too complicated and it keeps me up at night so I can try not to think about it too much. But stateside, vocational schools are somehow seen as like second tier um, or even third tier system, third tier education, and that's just not okay. I don't like that. You, you, you have to be careful with vocational is make sure that they're not a for-profit thing because for-profit education in general just rubs me the wrong way. Like, uh, like recently, like ITT Tech was one of those big like, niche way, like chain schools, and they went belly up and full sales notoriously predatory with its uh, marketing and with their recruitment. And it's scary. And of course, classic example of uh, garbage university is of course the university that has uh, our current president's last name stamped on it, which is a whole gaggle problems like that are that really left the untangled by people way more qualified than I am. Why did I choose community college? Why? So I, I've laid out all the options before you in some way or form with all the represent rambling because that's how this show is done. So why did I, why did I choose my current school? I want to be an airline pilot. That's my career. That's my chosen career. That's what I want to do. So I found the schools in Florida that have the, the degree that I want to do, have the certifications for it, have the accreditation, have all that stuff lined up. You can do, this works for not for any sort of specialty degree or specialty program or even just a regular four-year program. You go find those ones, do your research. You go to their, usually have a general education requirement or a prerequisite page. It's usually listed or it should be easy to find. If it's not easy to find because for some reason colleges have, college websites have an unspoken rule, that need to be needlessly complicated and hard to navigate. Well, this is changing recently. You can call the ship, you can call the people. They're, uh, they're, they're, they'll be happy to talk with you probably and get that list of prerequisites or at least closest approximation you can if they're being a bit vague with it. Like, print that out or write it down and put it in. I went to uh, SCF's class registration, which is I have right here. For example, um, this is the class requirements for Florida Institute of Technology. The degree I want to do. This is the similar list. I have no idea if the camera picked that up, but that was the list for uh, Daytona, Embry Riddle in Daytona. I'm gonna give it a minute here in case it hasn't quite auto focused. I'm gonna assume it has, if it hasn't, and the rest of the video is blurry. I'm sorry. And then I took those lists and I went to your SCF student planning guide. These they they give they give these out for free in the uh, student union. I went through it, sort of uh, <clears throat> marked everything out for what all the classes that they had that matched up or as close as possible, and sort of planned out uh, on a semester by semester basis what I wanted to do here at SCF. And that's a, and uh, that's how I got to where I am today at SCF. About once with I got this semester and then one more left to go, and I'll be graduating and hopefully going to one of those two universities. And, uh, since I got the those two years worth of uh, class in that at SCF, I saved a substantial amount of money because, for example, um, my two years here at SCF will be about five grand because I did a bunch of AP and IB stuff on high school so my situation is not necessarily applicable to everyone. If everyone was like me the world would have burst into flames as soon as we figured out how to talk to each other and I have saved a ton of money doing it. Like the value proposition of community colleges is really high and for yet no one really talks about it. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's a prestige or a marketing thing. I have to sus I highly suspect it's a marketing thing because uh, like the bigger schools, like the bigger state schools have such massive marketing budgets to really get their recruiters in high schools and send out all the flyers and take out the TV commercials and they have the big flashy sports program versus community college are just sort of twiddling away in the background. Regardless, you've done it. Part one, part two. 
I think this has been my most cohesive video in a very long time. Very happy with that. I would like to thank you all for uh, taking some time out of your day to watch me. Quite frankly, I'm amazed anyone is outside of maybe a few friends who watch this. Everyone out there in the great big wide world of sports. See you next week. Maybe.